Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Professor Bauer. Welcome to ICT 4105, Project Contracts and Procurement. Week number six. Can you believe it? We've taken the turn and we're headed for home. A um, lot going on. Sorry that this uh, video is getting you on Tuesday, but it's been a busy week already. Um, you should be all caught up with grades by Thursday night, and uh, that's what I've been doing. Uh, just bringing things up to speed there. Anyway, we are now in um, the mode that uh, is is in in the uh, the project charter and uh, the pro project vision part of. These are still preparatory documents, and so um, a, a lot of ICT 4105 leans toward that kind of activity. Next week we get into RFXs, various different requests for proposals, quotations, information, etc. We'll walk you through that. Uh, we've got some uh, useful things to help you understand those. Um, but we're going to be um, right now documenting the project initiation phase. You'll look at a procurement plan, a portfolio assignment. Your final um, assignment will gang all these things together in kind of the, the um, initial activity and the pre-project launch activities that you would do in terms of procurement, making sure that uh, everything is set with your, with your project charter. Um, statement of work, project charter, um, the work breakdown structure, all these things are ways that we decompose the project into workable bits. We budget, we assign resources, and all that happy stuff. Um, so you're going to um, make some decisions on suppliers. We've looked at their sustainability, how you grade them, all these other things. And um, so we're starting to put these little uh, piece parts together and, uh, and get some good work done. Want to make sure that you understand there is no Zoom room this coming Wednesday. No Zoom room this Wednesday. If you have a question, or an issue, just ping me. Um, we'll, we can set up Zoom uh, if it's something on your screen or if we need to talk, uh, that'll, be, that'll be fine as well. Want to make sure that um, we look at the learning objectives. Um, you're going to uh, pick out a project charter based on um, what the particular project you have in mind. You'll create that. You'll include stakeholders and a, prod, uh, a product vision. You'll also look at who your target customers are. There's a lot of other uh, documents. There's a procurement plan template that you'll also be looking at but not needing to turn in. So don't be confused by the fact that there's several uh, of these as well. Um, there's a template um, in, the, uh, in the forms uh, book, um, but I've included that in, uh, in PDF form that you can use as well. And so I'll include that in the, uh, in the announcement that has this video. So you'll create, instead of all, all these templates will help you later, but what you'll do as a final artifact for this week is create a narrative of your charter in a Word document that includes at least one table. All right, we'll, uh, we'll walk through that um, uh, if you have any questions on that. Uh, just look at, on the assignment. Um, you'll be forced to look at project assumptions, key um, constraints, scope, timeline, budget, etc. And then um, you, you've got that procurement plan template. Here it is, uh, just for your research only. So you, but what you are required to do for week six is to draft a project charter and a product vision and you're gonna put that in a Word format. So don't get faked out by all the different forms and templates. That will help guide your, uh, your writing. Uh, you may want to use the, uh, uh, the project uh, charter form uh, examples, which you can see here uh, in what takes place and what's included in a project charter. Uh, it's written in a uh, just a straight text um, level on, uh, on part one one, the slide uh, image on the left. And then on the right, you've got something that looks like a form there. Uh, for product vision, you've got uh, the next slide, you've got the same thing 
Um, but again, you, uh, you don't have to turn these into a form so much as you need to make sure you document these things and then write them up in a, uh, 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 in a Word document that, that walks through your process in putting them together. This is a 50-point assignment. So remember, take a look at the rubric, which is right here. The rubric is your friend, what is excellent, what is um, meets the standard, needs improvement, or you're in real trouble. Uh, so far, the work has been great. I'm, I'm really impressed with the uh, work you guys are doing. Just keep it up. Have a great week, uh, all of you. Remember, no Zoom room on Wednesday night. No Zoom room on Wednesday night. We will resume that uh, next week. Have a great week six. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.